Hello and welcome to video tutorial number two of the handwriting recognition module. This one is going to be doing the, uh, the actual input in a word processing document, for instance. Uh, what I've got up here is uh, Microsoft Works word processor document uh, because this is a fairly new machine and I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, so I'm not spending any money on Word. Okay, so uh, this is the panel you use to in do all your input. This is called the Tablet Input Panel. This is on tablet PCs and on Windows Vista Premium and above, you've got this available as well. I'm using it with a Wacom Bamboo Fun Small, a pretty little uh, silver tablet that I've got here. And the way you get this up is you go to your, uh, <clears throat> your go to your Start menu and you go to Search and then you type in Tablet Input Panel and it'll show a little search results for that. You just double tap on it and this comes up. And it lives either out here or when you close it, I can't show it to you, but it slides over to the side and it's just a little nose is sticking out uh, and when you want it, you put your pen over top of it, tap on it and it pops out here again. So there you go. That's how you do that. That is a big lesson. Now how you use this thing. You've got these three different input panels. This is where one you kind of just write along here. Uh, this one, you write in the little little boxes. And on uh, this one, it's obviously an on-screen keyboard, right? Okay, so, and you've you also got tools. Personalize your handwriting recognition. Report recognition errors. You can have it floating. You have it docked at the bottom of the top, or the, uh, the bottom of the screen. And you've got a bunch of options you can choose. And uh, insert button, you can choose where it is. You want to tap on the insert button to insert text, or do you want to point to it? Autocomplete. Um, just a whole bunch of different things that you can go through and fiddle around with and find what you like the best. Okay, so we'll just get rid of that and bring out our input panel again. Bada boom, there you go. And here's our first one. So, what you got to do is have your cursor somewhere, and I think I'll make this a bit bigger uh, so you can actually see because I know this is a small recording. Um, so, um, hello. A L L O. And you see it puts it in here. Bing. Insert. And I can hit this a couple times to put some lines in there. Um, it is a nice evening. And what we've got here. It is the nice evening. So now we just kind of pop over to this one because I made a mistake. It didn't know that my A was a D. Oops, insert. Uh, sec there we go. Okay, so D, um, I want that to be, I can drop it down. No, well, it doesn't know what it is, so I'll just write it in there. A, and let's see if that's got it now. There. It is a nice evening. Insert. And a couple enters. Next time I'll do it. Um, I just took. Max for a walk. Okay, I just took Max Tor. Ah, so we've got a, 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 a lot of errors here. Okay, so that's Max. This one should be um, clear. I'm going to clear it. And this one, I want, oh, I didn't get it. F O R. Let's see if that is okay now. I just took Max for a walk. Okay. Now, when you finish this and you're happy with that, then you just come on over to the insert button. Oh, I think I had. Yeah. Okay. Good. So that that's really how you do it. Um, I've been doing printing. Let's try some writing. Okay. Let's. I didn't do that. Let's try <laughs> some I T I N G. Well, that you know that's sloppy, and uh, the only mistake it made was here. Uh, so we'll drop down and see if there's an S in there. There isn't, so we'll just put an S in. And uh, okay, let's try some writing. Bring it over. Insert. 
Yeah, that's kind of neat. Okay, we've also got some other things. You've got numbers. You can just enter numbers like one, two, three, six, da, 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 da. You see, that's fairly quick. It's probably a lot quicker than going on your keyboard. Right, let's go above this. Um, you've got symbols. If you like symbols, oh, we got all the symbols here. Whoops, tilt. <clears throat> insert, we'll insert whatever that is. And uh, you've got web. So if I wanted to uh, put my graphics site up here, for instance, if I wanted to let you know what it is, I will put in www, and it's got it right there. Now, v dash graph dash tablet dot com. Okay, so let's see what it is. The graphics tablet.com. Insert it. Uh, this one should be a small letter. Ah, I see I have a space in there. So we'll put that uh, in backspace. And this will highlight. There. Put that to the end. And enter. Oh, I see. I've got another problem here, too. Uh, we'll go backspace a couple, and we'll make a small C. <laughs> o M. Insert. Hey, I never said I was good at this. Uh, backspace. Yeah. There you go. It's got it now. So that's the handwriting module. It did pretty good, you know. Um, Considering my sloppy writing, that was really bad at one point. Um, it did a pretty good job of that. And of course, you've always got the uh, the thing here, um, personalize, right here. And what it does is target specific recognition errors or teach the recognizer your handwriting style. And you can do it in sentences and uh, write a group of sentences. And I think there's 50 of them in here. And you go next. And what you do is write this sentence in and go next. And see, there's 50 of them. I've done two, and it does it does my uh, writing pretty good with two of them. Uh, so if I did all 50, it would probably be flawless. So there you go. This is a really neat way to increase your productivity if you don't want to be tapping away on a keyboard or if you're a crummy tapper, uh, crummy crummy typer. Uh, this will this will do it pretty good for you. And I guess there's an eraser here, and this is a whatever. That's a it looks like a little tablet, doesn't it? So, there you go. Um, yeah, I'm going to update my recognizer there. Okay. So, there you go. This is your uh, tablet input panel. If you've got Windows Vista Premium and you're just dying to try it, run out and get yourself a tablet. Uh, bamboo fun will do perfect, or just a straight bamboo. And that's what this bamboo is designed for, is to be used with this. Although, you can use it with uh, any graphic application as well. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. Pay a visit to me at my site. I would be honored to see you. And thanks for watching. I do appreciate it.